Hello and welcome dear scientist. In this video you will get a deep understanding of five fluoroversal in terms of its chemical structure, its function inside the cell and the tumor's resistance against it. Subscribe to stay updated on cancer biology. We divided the information on two cycles, cycle one and cycle two with the increasing level of details. Let's start with the first cycle. 5-fluorouracil is one of the chemotherapies used to treat cancer patients and as we know, cancer cells are constantly dividing. Therefore, 5-fluorouracil is designed to interrupt this division process, leading to the cancer cell death. Now let's move to the structure. Uracil is a naturally present building block that's used directly in RNA synthesis and indirectly in DNA synthesis through its conversion into thymine. Fluorouracil is a structural analog of the naturally occurring uracil except for an additional fluoro group that will cause the death of cancer cells. Let's see how it functions. As we said, uracil is converted in all our cells into thiamine to be used in DNA synthesis. The cell's enzymes identify fluorouracil as a uracil. Accordingly, the enzyme will not be able to neither detach nor convert this analog stopping the production line. The second mechanism is related to the DNA structure. If we imagine that the DNA is like a wall of bricks, the cellular machinery can sometimes allow the insertion of a fluorouracil as a building block instead of thymine, damaging the DNA structure and contributing to the cell death. Let's see how cancer cells sometimes are able to resist this drug. First, resistant cancer cells can compensate the enzymatic inhibition by increasing the number of enzymes designated to convert uracil into thymine. Secondly, they can increase the expression of repair enzymes that can detect and remove the mistakenly inserted fluorouracil. Well done, you finished the first cycle. Leave a like and take a deep breath. Now let's move to the second cycle. When a cancer patient receives 5 fluorouracil as an intravenous injection, it travels through the blood and diffuses out of it to enter the cancer cell. 5 fluorouracil can enter and damage healthy dividing cells, but this is not a topic for this video. What is the chemical structure of this drug? You have to know and memorize with me that every DNA building block is formed of a nucleobase and a pentagon shaped sugar, together they form what's called a nucleoside. And by adding a phosphate group, we have what's called a nucleotide, which is the final form present in our DNA. Let's get back to our topic, which is the difference between uracil and fluorouracil. The nucleobase you just have seen can be a uracil nucleobase. And on the right, we have the 5 fluorouracil. The drug is administered in the nucleobase form in the cell, the enzymes treated as uracil and accordingly, they attach to it a pentose sugar and a phosphate group. This is why 5-fluorouracil is called an anti-metabolite, as you can see it's treated as a metabolite, but at the end of the road it hinders the metabolism. Now let's see how fluorouracil can interrupt the cellular metabolism and lead to the cell death. First, it passes through the uracil transporter. And at this point, I have to gently refresh your memory with three metabolic rules. First, any nucleotide can't be used as a building block without having three phosphate groups attached to it. Two, any nucleotide that will be inserted into the DNA has to be in the deoxygenated form. Three, any nucleotide that will be inserted into the RNA has to maintain its oxygenated form. Let's put the board aside and feel free to recheck it when you need. The 5 fluorouracil will be converted to a nucleotide in the oxygenated form. As you can see, there is an OH or hydroxyl group attached to the sugar backbone. Subsequently, it will be phosphorylated to be a diphosphate then a triphosphate nucleotide and now it fulfilled both the first and third rules accordingly the nucleotide will be shuttled to the nucleus and inserted 
in an RNA strand during the transcription process. In addition, the cell has another metabolic scenario for the diphosphate nucleotide as it can be shuttled to the nucleus, reduced to its deoxygenated form, then phosphorylated. To fulfill the first and second rules, accordingly it will be inserted in the DNA strand during replication. To summarize, if the 5-fluorouracil diphosphate nucleotide was converted to an oxygenated form, it will be used in the transcription process. And if it was phosphorylated in the deoxygenated form, it will be used in the replication process. Let's end with the third and final mechanism in which the fluorouracil nucleotide will turn into a deoxyfluorouracil that will later react and inhibit thymidylate synthase as we saw in the first slides. However, this deoxyfluorouracil has to lose one phosphate in order to enter the active site of the thymidylate synthase. Subsequently, it will bind and inhibit the enzyme. The alternative scenario is in the normal state, the monophosphate uracil nucleotide enters the active site and gets methylated to turn into a thymine nucleotide. Now let's move to the resistant mechanisms. As we know, cancer cells are constantly dividing. The huge amount of cancer cells form what's called a tumor. When a patient receives 5 fluorouracil as a treatment, the cancer cell dies and the tumor shrinks. But sometimes we can see that the tumor can relapse and return to its original size. So how was the cancer cell able to resist the DNA damage and the metabolic pathways we just have seen together? The first mechanism of resistance is related to the liver. There is an enzyme called DPD in the liver that's responsible to break down the 5 fluorouracil if this enzyme concentration was increased, the effective dose of the drug will be too little to be effective with cancer cells. The second mechanism of resistance is related to the DNA repair machinery and the recognition of the false analogs by an enzyme called UDG that recognizes the 5 fluorouracil and removes it from the DNA strand. The third mechanism of resistance is the increased expression of the thymidylate synthase which is the most common form of resistance. Congratulations, you have successfully finished the two cycles of 5-fluorouracil. If you are interested in cancer research and you want to have a background on cancer biology, always check in the description for a course that will be available on August 2023. And for now, what do you think? Which is more effective, the 5-fluorouracil or the Paclitaxel?